Let me show you the best way of adding details like switchers, outlets, convectors or spotlights into your 3ds Max scene without changing the geometry properly. I've discovered this smart trick inside Corona Renderer and it changed everything. Now I can make it almost effortless, just using the Corona Slicer to get clean AutoCAD openings directly into walls, floors or ceilings, keeping everything precise, non-destructive and easier to tweak later. So let's go! We'll start with Corona Slice material, which is very useful when we need to cut quickly some parts of the object without changing the model by itself. For example, I have prepared in this scene a set of switches and outlets to be placed on this wooden headboard. This way, a quick method is to create an object that fits the shape of the element to be cut. Let's create a box. I will make sure that the height of this box is enough thick to pass through the wooden panel I have right here. Here you go. Now you can see this box right here. Uh, next we'll need to open Material Editor, create a Corona Slice MTL, apply it to the box. But because we want to cut just the wooden panel and to have the switchers and outlets visible, we'll need to exclude those objects from Corona Slicer MTL. Let's go ahead with this plus to add this object here. Take a look right here. This box easily created that needed hole in the panel so that the switchers and the outlets would be visible you can anytime create a group of these objects and when you move them around you'll see that the box will keep cutting the panel wherever we move these objects all along the panel to work the same with the walls or any other objects you need to cut for this type of elements one more example where you can use Corona Slicer material is when you need to place a convector in the floor so that it will be visible through the flooring. We'll do the same. Just create a box or any shape you have of your object to be cut. Let's see its height. I need it to be to break through the floor and to cover the total height of this convector. So I will move it a little bit up. I will hide the um, curtain for now to make it visible. Okay, so here is the box. You can now see the box. Next. I will place again Corona Slicer MTL on this box and of course in order not to have just a hole cutting everything what intersects this box we'll need to select the cone vector and add it in the exclude object list just go with plus when you've selected the object and it will automatically appear visible right in place, easy and fast to work with. And again, we can anytime group these objects, go with to group, group, you can name it. And then when you'll be moving this object around, the hole for this object will move with the convector together. You can change it place, even if I'll go further, you can see how it, this will cut the rug too. It's not what we need, but I just wanted you to show how easily this material can save you a lot of time in different situations. 
And if you want to take your skills to the next level from modeling and lighting to texturing, framing and full visualization setups, check out our complete course Master 3D Interiors from Basics to Photorealism. It's packed with workflows and techniques just like this one, designed to help you work faster and get truly photorealistic results. You'll find the link in the description below. you can use the Corona Slicer to quickly cut in switchers, outlets, convectors and spotlights, saving you time and keeping your workflow clean. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss future tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.